all right you're welcome again today let's talk about differentiation of inverse trigonometric function differentiation of inverse trigonometric function now let's take a look at these three questions we're going to solve this number one find the derivative of the following functions y is equal to arc sin x 2 y is equal to arc cos x 3 y is equal to arc tan x yes you are asked to find the derivative of the following functions y is equal to arc sin x y is equal to arc cos x y is equal to arc tan x all right yes now let's go starting with the first question y is equal to arc sin x now pay attention please you know when we talk about arc sin x what is it talking about that is inverse so we can write this arc sine as one all over sine then we have x right yes that means we can say that what we have is y is equal to one all over sine x because one all over sine is actually an inverse or sine you get it right good from this list what if we decide to multiply both sides by sine what if we decide to multiply both sides by sine so what are you going to have going to have in the left hand side sine y is equal to in the right hand side we have sine multiplied by 1 all over sine x you know here sine we cancel sine right yes so we are going to be left with sine y is equal to x you know we multiply both sides by sine so thereby we are having sine y is equal to x so what if we say sine squared y what are we going to have also you know from what we have here we say sine y is equal to x if we say sine square y sine square y is going to give us x squared we we'll take the square of both sides right good now let's go the function we have is sine y is equal to x now let's differentiate these with respect to x so if we differentiate sine y what are we going to have you know normally if we are to differentiate sine x you know sine x is going to give us cos x right but this place now we are differentiating sine y with respect to x that means we are going to have cos y dy all over the x hello you know when you are differentiating y y is going to give you what dy all over the x but in this form we are having sine y so when when you differentiate sine it's going to give you a cos right then y is going to give you dy all over dx right so the derivative of sine y is going to give you cos y dy all over dx and then the derivative of x is going to give you one all right yes now from this place we want to make dy dx the subject so that means we are going to multiply or we are going to divide both sides by cos y so that dy all over dx we stand alone so that dy all over dx we stand alone so if we divide both sides by cos y we are going to have dy all over dx is equal to 1 all over cos y is that true yes now you remember one of our formulas we say sine squared y plus cos squared y is equal to 1 is that true yes now what if we try to make cos squared y the subject i'm going to say that cos squared y is equal to 1 minus sine squared y what if we say cos y not cos square y that means we are going to take the square root of both sides we are going to have cos y is equal to square root of 1 minus sine squared y and then in our function here we say that dy all over dx is equal to 1 all over 
cos y so here we can replace cos y with the value we're having and then the value is square root of 1 minus sine square y so if we replace it we're going to say that dy all over the x is equal to 1 all over square root of 1 minus sine squared y you get it right yes but you discover that from the beginning we say something we say let you said that sine square y is the same thing as what x squared right yes in this place we can replace sine square y with the value x squared right yes if we replace it we're going to have dy all over the x is equal to one all over square root of one minus x squared is that true yes so finally the derivative of arc sine x is one all over square root of one minus x squared you can check it in the derivative table it is the same okay now let's go number two we have y is equal to arc cos x please i want you to follow the same method as what we just did in arc sine x we are going to get your final answer okay now let's take number three number three is a y is equal to arc tan x you get it so you know this arc tan x is the same thing as saying 1 all over tan x y is equal to 1 all over tan x if you multiply both sides by tan we're going to say tan y is equal to tan multiplied by 1 all over tan x so tan we cancel tan right we're going to have tan y is equal to x so what if we say tan square y so as we have tan y is equal to x tan square y is going to give us x squared is that true yes now let's go back to our function tan y is equal to x differentiating this with respect to x the derivative of tan y is going to give us sec squared y dy all over the x the derivative of tan y is going to give you sec squared y dy all over the x equal to the derivative of x is one okay yes here if we try to make the y all over the x the subject, that means we're going to divide both sides by sec squared y. If we divide both sides by sec squared y, we're going to have the y all over the x is equal to 1 all over sec squared y. Alright? Yes. You know, in that our trigonometric function or formula, we say that sine square y plus cos square y is equal to 1. Is that true? yes in this formula if you decide to divide both or if you decide to divide through by cos squared y we are going to see that sec squared y is equal to one plus tan squared y please i want you to divide through by cos squared y you're going to have sec squared y is equal to one plus tan squared y okay now let's go in this place that we have the all over the x is equal to 1 all over sec squared y. We can replace this sec squared y with the value we are having here, 1 plus tan squared y. So if you do so, we are going to have the y all over the x is equal to 1 all over 1 plus tan squared y. Okay, from the initial, where we have tan y is equal to x, you get it? We also say that tan squared y is equal to x squared. So here we are having tan squared y. We can replace it with that value, okay? So if we replace it with that value, we'll say that dy all over dx is equal to 1 all over 1 plus x squared. We say that dy all over dx is equal to 1 all over 1 plus x squared. Is that true? Yes. Finally, we've gotten the derivative of arc sine x and arc tan x. All right? Yes, let's take more examples. Thank you.